Okay, so Black Lightning Season 1 has came and gone. 13 episodes, and wow. Black Lightning. This show... This is, this is, this is, this is the awesomeness right here. This is why I love the Arrowverse. It's, it's stuff like this, Supergirl, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow, and Arrow. This is why I love the CW DC Arrowverse. Now, this is based on the comic character of the same name, created by Tony Isabella. Stars Cress Williams, China McClain, Nefessa Williams, Christine Adams, Marvin Jones III, James Remar, and Damon Gupton. And this series basically expands the footprints of their DC Comics TV universe with the exploration of the intersection between family life and being a superhero. So, as a younger man, Jefferson Pierce donned the suit of a vigilante and protect the streets of his city. But he believed he left those days in the past. So, he, because he made a promise to his um, ex-wife that he will retire as a superhero and basically be be a part, uh, be there for his kids. <clears throat> so, that was nine years ago. After seeing the effects it had on his family. So. Then. In the present. He learns that his life is not always working out for him. As is his plan with his daughter Jennifer. A star student is determined to achieve justice at any cost. She gets recruited by a street gang. And. He decides. Is the last straw. When his other daughter becomes involved with um this whole situation that she has going on which is arrested for protesting so he just he gets pulled over for a crime he didn't commit and so he decides to come out of retirement and become black lightning once again this show is awesome I have to admit, this is a, this show was pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Now, there are a couple of racial things that's going on in this show, and I understand it because I am, I'm not trying to put myself out there, but you are, but any, I have to say, all of the, um, all of the, Acting in the show is great. You got Chris Williams as Jennifer. I mean Jefferson Pierce at Black Lightning. I love the costume. I like his performance here. I thought he was really good, and he was great. China McClain as his younger daughter. I like her. I like China McClain as an actress as well. I know there are some people who don't, but I thought she was really good here on this show for as his other daughter. Nefessa Williams as a niece appears. She's the elder daughter and I like her. She's a meta human like her father and I like that. And all the acting shows great. The first episode literally drew, drew you in from there. You just really get ready for this awesomeness that's gonna gonna come come happening, and then when when the action is there, the action is there. All of these episodes were great. Some episodes were a little slow paced, and some had like I said, it does deal with a lot of racial thing, race, race, a lot of things like. You have this his one sister, his one daughter is gay. Then this this thing is happening. Then this other thing is happening. So it's dealing with a lot of stuff, but I thought it's handled pretty well for all thirteen episodes. And the show doesn't play around. You do have a lot of deaths, a lot of darker stuff happening on the show, but it's a fun show. I'm not gonna spoil anything for the show 
I'm just gonna say watch it. The season finale though. That was great. And I can't wait to see what happens next. So for that, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut this review of Black Lightning short because I don't want to give anything away. If you have not seen the show, watch it. Get and this show has been renewed for a second season, so there we go. I will give this show an epitastic. Watch, you watch it. It's great. It's awesome. So let me know what you guys think about Black Lightning Season 1 down below. I'll catch you guys when Season 2 comes and goes. And if you like this, come here and subscribe. And thanks, thank you for your cooperation. So, this is Future from Ecto 940 signing out, and you guys.